dead babies, apartheid walls, eviction notices on student dorms, calls for Israel's destruction, all part of a troubling pattern of extreme activism taking place at Florida Atlantic University, a public university in Boca Raton, Florida, located in the heart of one of the largest Jewish communities in America. FAU is a university with an anti-Semitism problem and an irresponsible administration helping to make things worse. If you're thinking about trusting Florida Atlantic University with your child or your charitable support, this is a presentation of evidence you definitely should consider beforehand. Florida Atlantic University is home to an active chapter of Students for Justice in Palestine, otherwise known as SJP, an organization rated by the Anti-Defamation League as one of the top 10 worst anti-Israel groups in America. Founded at UC Berkeley shortly after the Palestinian Arabs launched the Second Intifada terror campaign in 2000, SJP serves a single purpose, to slander and defame Israel on college campuses in order to convince unknowing and unsuspecting students to develop a negative perception of Israel and her Jewish character while portraying the Palestinian Arabs as victims. This agenda is primarily carried out through the systematic use of the three Ds, demonization, delegitimization, and double standards. The 3D standard is widely accepted as the test to determine the threshold where anti-Israel expression crosses the line into stylized anti-Jewish expression. Lies and misinformation are the primary hallmarks of the 3Ds. In January 2011, FAU's SJP, along with other chapters from universities around the state, participated in an organizing conference sponsored by the American Muslims for Palestine organization. The objective of the meeting was to have SJP become more effective in its efforts by having experienced anti-Israel activists provide training and to help regional chapters coordinate with each other and share their resources. AMP is a well-funded professional organization with ties to Islamic radicals and supporters of terrorism against Israel. It specializes in targeting vital parts of the educational system, primarily libraries, high schools, and university curricula, and student organizations. Flown in to lead the conference was one of the leaders of the now infamous Irvine Eleven, who were convicted of systematically harassing Israeli Ambassador Michael Oren to the point that he was unable to deliver a lecture at the University of California. In May 2011, the student president of FAU's SJP, Noor Fauzi, publicly participated in the organizing of Miami's Third Intifada Rally for Palestine in front of the Israeli Consul General's office. Invitations to the third Intifada rally were sent to all of FAU's SJP members and Fauzi spoke at the rally on behalf of the student organization. The terminology and imagery used to promote the rally were taken directly from the third Intifada page that Facebook took down in March 2011 after great public outcry over its racism and call to violence. The local event tied into broader calls for a third intifada to be launched against Israel on May 15, 2011. Intifada is a term which means violent uprising and has no alternative meaning. Thousands of Israeli women, children, and civilians were killed and injured during the first two Palestinian intifadas. It is no coincidence that as FAU's SJP student organization and others were calling for a third intifada on May 15, 2011, Israel was simultaneously being attacked on three of its borders by violent mobs. Just a month later, in June 2011, SJP student president Noor Fauzi was again an organizer and host of a rally in front of the Israeli consulate. 
Remember, Intifada is a call to violence, and From the River to the Sea is a phrase made famous by Muslim Brotherhood terrorist leaders calling for Israel's destruction. Rather than heed the warnings and evidence it received, Florida Atlantic University's administration applied no scrutiny to SJP as it increased its radical activities on campus. A steady stream of anti-Semites and anti-Israel firebrands have been reaching into campus with the goal of radicalizing the students. As a result, the activities and messaging of SJP have steadily become more aggressive. FAU's indifference to anti-Semitism appears directly attributable to Dr. Charles Brown, the university's senior vice president for student affairs. Prior to his joining FAU in 2006, Dr. Brown served in similar positions at Wayne State University in Detroit and the University of South Florida in Tampa, two of the most notoriously venomous anti-Israel universities in the country. His time at USF in particular immediately followed the indictment of Professor Sami Al-Aryan, who later pled guilty to serving as the American head of the Islamic Jihad terror organization. Al-Aryan and his cronies at USF, including his research associate and now current FAU professor Bassam Al-Halabi, had cultivated a culture of anti-Semitic student radicalism that continued to be tolerated throughout Brown's tenure there. By the spring of 2012, FAU's SJP chapter was fully out of control. Mock eviction notices were posted on the door of hundreds of on-campus residences. SJP brazenly misappropriated the seal of Palm Beach County, which was a violation of law. The Palm Beach County Attorney's Office immediately sent a cease and desist order. The fake eviction notice also included a seal and authorization stamp from FAU's Student Housing Authority, which were in fact issued by the university. In response to this, Dr. Charles Brown, the school's Senior Vice President for Student Affairs, initially misled reporters by claiming that the university had not authorized the flyers. This statement was later retracted when SJP revealed that not only had it been approved, but an FAU employee actually escorted the group as they posted hundreds of notices on dorm rooms and elevators. The message contained in the notice was anti-Semitic in nature. It made use of a modern-day blood libel intended to portray Israel as barbaric, unprincipled, and inhumane by falsely claiming that anti-Israel and anti-American activist Rachel Corey was deliberately and maliciously murdered by Israel. The notice also made false assertions intended to delegitimize and demonize Israel by implying that it engages in institutionalized racism. This is among the favorite smears of SJP and has been repeatedly documented at FAU. The notice's message was intended to manipulate an emotional anti-Israel sentiment among unknowing and unsuspecting students who came home to find it on their front door. Jewish students, however, informed the administration that finding the notices on their front doors made them feel intimidated and harassed. The Jewish community made just one simple demand of FAU that they specifically condemn the eviction notice's use of anti-Semitic lies so that unknowing and unsuspecting students caught in the middle would not develop a negative perception of Israel and the Jewish people. Organizations with expertise in such matters explained to FAU that while SJP's right to free speech had to be tolerated and protected on campus, the university's administration had an affirmative legal and moral obligation to exercise its own right to free speech and specifically condemn SJP's use of anti-Semitic messages. Sadly, while FAU was forced to condemn the posting of the mock eviction notices, it went out of its way to avoid any criticism of the anti-Semitic message it contained. Dr. Brown addressed the community in a press release, explaining little more than that the university had conducted an internal investigation and defiantly concluded that it had found no evidence that the postings were intended to target or intimidate individuals of any particular religion, national origin, or faith. The aftermath of the eviction notice incident highlights the irresponsibility and failure of FAU and Hillel 
to confront the problem. SJP student president Noor Fauzi flaunted their refusal to condemn the anti-Semitic message contained in the eviction notices in an online editorial where she stated that the opposition did not dare publicly dispute the validity of the content on the notices. Emboldened by their ability to get away with aggressive and bigoted activism on campus, SJP further mocked the university in a local magazine by referring to its response as a slap on the wrist and defiantly stating that they would print new eviction notices to be posted again. Just three weeks after posting the eviction notices, SJP student president Noor Fauzi was elected to the board of the College Democrats. Because of the administration's silence, her peers were unable to recognize the toxic and bigoted nature of her views and advocacy, and instead gave her the legitimacy of affiliating with the Democratic Party. Then, two months later in June, the administration again stood silent as SJP members promoted and participated in a fundraising event for Islamic Relief USA, an organization implicated by Department of Justice officials for serving as a financing front group for the Hamas terror organization. The event featured two firebrand speakers, Ahmed Badir, an associate of Palestinian Islamic Jihad leader Sami al Arian, and leading Muslim Brotherhood figure in the United States, and Hatem Bazian, the anti-Semitic founder of SJP, who has openly called for an intifada in America. Sadly, this year SJP's rhetoric and radical activism have continued unabated at FAU. On February 6th, SJP hosted renowned anti-Semite Greta Berlin, who just months earlier had been publicly exposed for suggesting that the Holocaust was a conspiracy perpetrated by Zionist Jews. In an attempt to avoid further public exposure of SJP's anti-Jewish bigotry, the FAU administration stationed police officers outside the event to bar journalists from filming, despite the fact that it was a public event at a publicly funded university. The university has ignored requests that they provide the legal basis for their action. The following morning, SJP set up a mock display of bloodied infant body bags meant to falsely portray Israel as a baby killer, a classic anti-Semitic accusation that extends back a thousand years to the case of William of Norwich. What happens on campus is a direct reflection of what's happening in the community surrounding campus. If the community forcefully confronts anti-Semitism and anti-Israel lies and sets an example that teaches young people to stand up on campus, then we can rest assured in the future. If the community is uninformed, passive, apologetic, or fails to act with moral clarity, then we have no right to expect the students to be any better. So what can you do to get involved? Forward this video to everyone you know who has an interest in fighting anti-Semitism on college campuses. Make sure you post it on Facebook and other social media as well. Everyone needs to know what's going on at FAU and nationally. Withhold your charitable support of FAU until the administration publicly speaks out to specifically condemn anti-Semitism on campus and agrees to follow U.S. Department of Education guidelines on responding to anti-Jewish bigotry. Contact FAU's President M.J. Saunders to express your outrage. She can be reached at president at fau.edu. Make certain you notify the media by copying letters at sun-sentinel.com on the email.